Hey guys, Howard Rollins was a gifted actor. He's been in a number of TV programs. I know him best from In the Heat of the Night. Some of y'all probably know that show. It would have been nice to see him still around doing more shows. He seemed like a sweet soul too. Howard Rollins was born in Baltimore, Maryland. His parents were Ruth and Howard Ellsworth Rollins. He was the youngest of four children. His mother was a domestic worker and his father was a steel worker who died in 1980. After Howard graduated high school, he studied theater at Towson University. In 1970, he played the role of Slick in the PBS soap opera, Our Street. He moved to New York City in 1974, where he appeared in the Broadway productions of We Interrupt This Program in 1975. He was in The Mighty Gents in 1978 and GR Point in 1979. He appeared in the TV miniseries King and Roots The Next Generation as George Haley. He played Doctor in My Old Man in 1979. Thornwell in 1981, The Neighborhood as Alan Campbell in 1982, and more. In the Heat of the Night star, Carol O'Connor said that Howard Rollins was one of the sweetest, gentlest men he knew, and one of the most gifted actors. Howard got his big break when he played in the 1981 movie Ragtime. He played Cole House Walker Jr. He was nominated for an Oscar for playing that role. He was also nominated for the Golden Globes as Best Actor in a Supporting Role for Ragtime. In 1981, he joined the soap opera All My Children as an FBI agent. In 1982, he played Ed Harding in Another World. That cast also included Morgan Freeman, who Howard had worked with on stage. Howard was also nominated for a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Actor in a Supporting Role in a Daytime Drama Series, Another World. Howard played Medgar Evers, in the 1983 movie, For Us the Living. The Medgar Evers story, which he won the NACCP Image Award for Outstanding Actor in a Drama Series. He played Captain Davenport in the movie called A Soldier Story in 1984. He played the army attorney who was sent to Fort Neal, Louisiana to investigate the shooting death of a black sergeant on the army base. That movie was nominated for three Academy Awards. He played Chuck Johnston in the 1984 movie, The House of God. In 1985, he played Bannister Sparks in Wild Side. He played Martin Luther King Sr. in The Boy King. That was a television movie in 1986. He played T.C. Russell in Johnny Mae Gibson, FBI, also in 1986. In 1988, Howard played Chief of Detectives Virgil Tibbs in the popular TV show, In the Heat of the Night. That was an interesting show. He played alongside Carol O'Connor, who played Chief Bill Gillespie. I always liked the relationship him and Carol O'Connor had on the show. During the show's run, Howard struggled with addiction to drugs and alcohol. It seemed his downward spiral first started when he was arrested for possessing cocaine in Louisiana in 1988. Allegedly, he was arrested three or four times for drug and alcohol issues, and he spent a month in jail for reckless driving and driving under the influence. During the third season, he allegedly missed five episodes due to his drug issue. He took time off to enter a drug and alcohol rehab program. Allegedly, years before Howard left the show, there was a National Enquirer report saying that Howard had been fired in 1989. The rumor was that Carol O'Connor fired Howard. According to reports, this really upset Carol O'Connor because the rumor was not true. He cared about Howard. According to CheatSheet.com, Jim Mahoney said the whole thing is a lie, speaking for Carol O'Connor in a 1989 interview with the New York Daily News. Carol wants him, Rollins, back. And we're all concerned about his well-being. Carol is outraged about the story. I've never seen him this upset. There's absolutely no truth to it and that they were talking to their lawyers about a possible libel suit. Howard starred in a movie called On the Block.
as Clay Beasley in 1990. Then he returned to In the Heat of the Night. I think his acting was still good, but his struggle continued. Due to his ongoing issues, Howard was let go from the series at the end of season six. Howard was, was replaced with Carl Weathers on the show. There was a rumor about Howard having AIDS. He allegedly admitted in an interview that he had an addiction to drugs and alcohol, but denied having AIDS. Friends and co-workers also denied the reports. Carol O'Connor allegedly said, HIV victims lose weight. If anything, he has an overweight problem. If he is sick, he's the strongest looking victim I've ever seen. Howard had achieved sobriety and worked on rebuilding his career and reputation. Howard returned for several guest appearances in the seventh season of the show, In the Heat of the Night, from 1993 to 1994. Due to legal issues like two outstanding warrants in Georgia, Howard ended up being banned from the county where the series was being filmed. He now had an issue with finding work. He had a guest role in New York Undercover in 1995, followed by a role in the film Drunks. In 1996, he appeared in a guest role on Remember When. His final acting role was in 1996 with a television movie called Harambee. Howard later found out that he had the cancer lymphoma. He started dressing up in women's clothes, wearing gowns, high heels, and high-value wigs. Six weeks later, after finding out about his condition, Howard Rollins was allegedly found unconscious in his apartment with blood in his nostrils and his mouth, allegedly. He was taken to the hospital and on December 8, 1996, Howard Rollins died at St. Luke's Roosevelt Hospital Center in New York City from lymphoma complications. He was only 46 years old. On October 25th, 2006, a wax statue of Rollins was unveiled at the Senator Theater in Baltimore. The statue is now at the Baltimore's Great Blacks in Wax Museum. Howard Rollins was a great actor. He's not forgotten. Rest in peace, Brother Howard. Subscribe and I'll see you next time, guys.